about 132 million Americans could see their lives change very soon. Something that they do on a daily basis is about to be flipped upside down. Today, I'm going to explain what's going on, what the Biden administration is doing about it, and why you should be highly concerned and you need to stay vigilant about what is going on around you. So make sure you watch this entire video and I'll explain exactly what is going on. All I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So what is happening that is about to impact 132 million Americans? Well, it actually has to do with your job, your livelihood, your income. What we are seeing lately is more and more employers are looking at ways to hire people for less money. This also includes illegal immigrants who either get paid under the table or in many cases, they are finding ways to get fake social security numbers, fake documents that they can then go and work. Now, I understand you come into the United States and you're promised a work permit within weeks. Well, you got to wait months. You're promised some place to stay. You're promised food. You're promised health care. The problem is those promises that you were given, that is from people that you may not even know. That's not even from people in the state. That's not from mayors. That's not from governors. That's not from the president. Now, the president did say he's going to get you an expedited work permit. Well, as soon as people saw that, they flooded the border. Well, the issue now is he's trying to figure out a way to slow the surge down. Well, what he's trying to do is an executive order. But what happened to President Biden's executive order? And what does this mean moving forward? Well, here's what I can tell you. As of right now, President Biden does not look like he's going to pass an executive order to slow down the surge of immigrants coming across the U.S. southern border. Based off what we are hearing, he wants to include restrictions on asylum. He wants to include, uh, you know, especially with border crossings, uh, to sl slow down the migration surges, especially in the spring. But here's the issue. In the spring and summer, so pretty much right now, what we are facing is we have a lot of agriculture jobs, especially here in Washington State. Uh, you know, in the, in the Northwest, we got a lot of jobs. You know, cherries, apples, pears, whatever. We have a lot of agriculture jobs here in Washington State, in Oregon, and California as well. And what people do is they come up from Mexico or from really other countries and they try to work. Well, this is where your livelihood could be affected. Based off what we are seeing right now is there's actually large caravans of people coming in from the U.S. southern border. There's a lot of uh, people that are talking about uh, getting a group together, especially down in the San Diego area, even in Arizona, and they come up north. And a lot of them end up here in Washington State. Now, I want to read you something because this person actually is from Washington State. They left a comment here on YouTube. Here's what they had to say. It says, and I quote, You would never believe what my son just told me, or what my son was just told. My son, a 17-year-old high school student, applied for a position in an orchard here in Washington. He went in to fill out some papers and the person told him that if he really wanted the job, he had to work for $12 per hour because that is what they are paying a group headed up from Mexico. Has anybody else heard this? Now, crazy part is $12 an hour is much less than the current minimum wage here in Washington State, which I believe is up over like $16 an hour or whatever, 14 something. Um, but that's huge. A four to, uh, you know, two to four dollars per hour. That's huge, especially if you're working a full day, right? But here's the thing: being from Washington State, I hear this all the time. I'm constantly hearing from people that they're getting paid under the table. They they are working with people that are they're illegal immigrants that are coming here to work, uh, and then they're going to go back down to Mexico. They don't have a work permit, but they're in their mind they think, well doesn't really hurt anybody. I'm just here to work. I'm going to go down to Mexico and I'll take that money and we'll go build our house and we'll support our family for the next year. And then we'll come up again next summer. 
It happens all the time. I want to read you this one though too. It says, well, it finally happened. I lost my job as a house cleaner that I had for seven years. My boss told me that she found more cleaners and that they do the same work. They're faster and they cost less money. She said, I could keep, I could come to jobs with them, but I would have my pay reduced to reflect my speed and their cost. So essentially I would be paid $9 and 80 cents an hour. And here in Arizona, the current wage is $14 and 35 cents per hour. So she's going to get paid like $4 and 55 cents less per hour because of her speed and their cost. She doesn't say if they are the new cleaners are illegal immigrants or anything. Doesn't say it, but based off of where I pulled the, the based off the video that I pulled this comment off of talking about legal immigrants. So this was the concern in that video. I talked about how very soon as we see more people enter into the United States, more people potentially get a work permit. If you have a work permit, there is no reason why you should be working for less than minimum wage. Absolutely no reason. You should be getting paid the exact same amount. Because again, it, it means you are legally able to work here in the United States. But this is a concern, is that we are now starting to see that your job is not safe. Your job could easily be going to somebody else. Just listen to this, okay? So I have a friend, uh, he works at Walmart. He says a, uh, one of the new Walmart employees, social security card says one name. I'm not gonna redo the name, but she goes by a completely different name. Not even the same name at all, okay? But her social security card says one thing, and she goes by a completely different name. Is that a red flag? I'm asking you. Let me know down in the comment section below. Is that a red flag? Most people would say yes, that that likely is not her social security card. Now that's not a, that's not a guarantee. I know people that their social security card or their identification says one thing, but they go by a completely different name. But the thing is somewhere they have a similar name. Okay. So whether it's their last name is the same, their first name might be the same, whatever, but it's not completely different. I don't know. But the one thing I wanted to tell you, and the only reason why I'm bringing this up now is because here's what we're facing. From Mexico, more people do decide to come up from Mexico. Uh, a lot of them do come across the US Southern border. They do this illegally. They come to uh, the United States and they work. They do this from uh, sometimes May, June, July, August, and then they head back down to Mexico. They take all that money with them or they send it down there during the, the, the four months, but they go back down to Mexico with all that money. And they so they get paid here don't pay any taxes, go down to Mexico, spend the money down there. And they're pretty much helping the, the Mexican economy. But what we are gonna face over the next handful of months is that exact scenario. More people are gonna come to work. You could potentially lose your job. But at the same time, we're seeing more people enter into the United States. So even though over the past year, we've seen that we have you know like 10 million available jobs, we have a lot of, we have millions of people on unemployment, but we also have millions of people entering the United States that are looking for work. And the Biden administration has said that their goal is to ensure that every single illegal immigrant or every single migrant, not illegal immigrant, excuse me, but every single migrant has the ability to work and get an expedited work permit. If that were to happen and we change the asylum restrictions and rules, make it easier problem there is more people could easily qualify for asylum. Everybody could get a work permit. As more people start to work, you actually have more pressure on you to perform, which means you could actually lose your job or your boss may ask you to get paid less because just like this person said that they, that the new cleaners are coming in, they're working faster and they cost less money. So just be aware of that. Your livelihood could be at risk because of all the people attempting to come into the United States at this time. So I will leave you with that. If you have any questions whatsoever, please ask your questions down in the comment section below. But again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing. I'll see you guys on the next one.